Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here. Welcome back to The Division 2. Today, I've got not a super long video for you, but one that I think a lot of you will be quite pleased by. You may have seen from my coverage or others' coverage or wherever that TU 21.2 dropped for The Division 2 this week, just yesterday, in fact. And since it dropped, it has been discovered that it included a new feature that has been heavily talked about and requested for The Division 2 for many years, I would say, and it was nowhere to be found in the patch notes. So, in this video, I just want to quickly go over what that is, how it works, and yeah, show you what's up. As I said, I think a lot of you are going to be quite pleased by this. So let's waste no further time and get right to it. All right, so here we are in game, and as you might have been able to guess by where I am standing, this new feature has to do with the dark zone. Now, at first glance, you might be like, well, this doesn't look all that different. What's what's changed here? Maybe if I open my map, you might be able to tell. Notice anything on the side there? That's right. They have now added shade level brackets to the end game dark zones. What does that mean? It means that you can only match with other players for the dark zones that match your same shade level bracket. Now, I'm, of course, in the one that is 1000. 1001 plus that seems to be the highest tier that they have obviously that being because past shade level 1000 you no longer earn any stats that are going to improve your build beyond a little bit of incremental health until you reach 2000 so i'm not aware of what the lower tiers might be how many brackets there might be from level 0 to 1000 if you're within those and you can check it on your account then certainly i would love if you would comment down below so that we can start to get an idea but this is pretty darn cool now, i want to give credit where it's due the only reason i'm aware of this i saw it posted on reddit yesterday from user opus zombie so like i said shout out to them but this is pretty darn awesome again it wasn't uh advertised in the patch notes whatsoever it wasn't anywhere i saw certainly and uh, this has been a big point of discussion for a long time for players of The Division 2. Now, I do want to make clear that it's not like the... The perfect solution maybe is not the word I want to use, but there was a big conversation of should we do something like shade level brackets within the dark zone so that at least newer players and people below 1000 aren't at a disadvantage stats wise when it comes to that stuff. But there was also a conversation of if we should match what was done to conflict in Project Resolve in year five season three of the division two, where they completely remove shade levels and expertise levels when you go into that mode. I personally think Conflict plays way better ever since that change is made. If you play Conflict versus the DZ, you know, at least against people who have high expertise levels, I think Conflict is way more fun now. So personally, I would be in favor of them adding that same system in there just for the sake of balancing and fun this late into this game's life. But um, that aside, I think the next best thing you could do to try and balance out the experience in the DZ a little bit is to, like they've done now, section off the player base by who was at what level. I think and hope that one really great benefit that will come from this is that people who are either newer to the game or they're just not at shade level 1000 should hopefully be more incentivized to not actually try the dark zone out whereas previously it had the reputation of everybody you fight in there is just going to be max level have all of these stats and it's just not going to be a very fun time i should mention previously the devs were asked why they did not want to replicate what they did in conflict in the dark zone in terms of uh, normalizing shade and expertise levels and they said that they viewed the dark zone as a piece of content and a mode where your true power and the total power of your account should be reflected it's a matter of you know, showing off how much time you've invested into the game, whereas conflict is meant to be that balanced experience from the start. Again, purely for balancing sake, I don't know if I fully agree with that, but if that's their stance, that's fine. And if that is the thing that they're going to stick with, then I 100% think that this is the next best option is to add in the shade level brackets. And so I'm super glad that they're here. We have this player right here. Let me check just for the sake of testing what shade level they are. And they're above shade level 1000. Of course, I don't have a endless uh, sample size here to, to check, but I would guess and I'm quite certain that they've they've made it this way now that everybody that I run into personally will be over shade level 1001 because that's what I am. And similarly, if you are a lower shade level, again, I don't know what all of the certain uh, brackets are because this wasn't announced, it wasn't in the patch notes, but you would only run into people from that same bracket, meaning that ideally you would have somewhat similar stats and be on a much more even playing field prior to this change going into the game. So there you have it, everybody. That is a quick overview of the brand new Shade Brackets feature that has been added to The Division 2. As for why this was surprise dropped into the game, I'm sure we'll probably never know. Maybe it was just one of those things that forgot to be added to the patch notes. Maybe it went in early, wouldn't be the first time it's happened. For me, I don't really care. The fact that it's here now that we have Shade Level Brackets in The Division 2's endgame Dark Zones, I think is a very beneficial change. Again, if it were solely up to me, I would probably implement the same kind of balancing that we see happen in Conflict. I just think that 
Uh, those engagements feel a lot better without the inflated stats that things like expertise give you. But as I said, if we're not going to get that, I think the next best thing is to do these shade level brackets. So at the very least, people who have none of these progression systems leveled up can experience the Dark Zone, can have a somewhat even playing field. I just think it's going to encourage a lot of people to try out the Dark Zone who maybe were very opposed to it before because of the kind of players you would typically run into in there. But that's your overview. And now I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on this entire thing. What's your reaction to seeing that the Division 2 has now added the shade level brackets to the dark zone is that something that you were a proponent of in the past are you a fan of its implementation now maybe you want to see more from it whatever as always i would love to hear your thoughts down below if you did enjoy the video and you want to see future quick updates and overviews on the division 2 like this then i would appreciate you clicking that subscribe button if you haven't already but that is going to do it for me today everybody thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next one rogue gold out